Whoa, my chair is different. Yeah, I have a different chair now. Wow, weird having a different chair, though. Um, I've had the other one for so long. But anyways, uh, hello everybody. Um, thank you for being very patient on my videos, um, not uploading things and whatnot. Um, but even though I missed a week, there's still not a lot of news. Um, but that's okay. First of all, uh, two weeks ago, when I updated with no news, <laughs> as soon as I posted my video, there was some news that came out <laughs> about Iba's stage play DVD. So go figure, that seems to happen a lot. Anyways, it sold 45,000 copies um, in the first week, I believe, to become the first non-musical stage play to top the DVD charts. Yay! Then we have a bit of Gantz news. Gantz was released in Japan, uh, finally, and it has made over 550 million yen in its first week. Um, which is topping the music, the music charts, the movie charts. The second dance also broke uh, its own record, I guess, for the first movie. <laughs> it has made over 4 billion yen since its release, which is approximately 104% higher than the first movie. That's awesome. This week's top question is from username CaliGal8600 and she asked, After his three major dramas, do you think Ono is the better actor? And what type of role would you like to, him to take on next? Um, now by better actor, I think she means like, do you think he's the best actor of the group? She also mentioned that she might want to see Ono in a romantic role. First of all, um, even after all of these new Ono dramas, I still believe that Nino is the best actor of the group, and I will talk about that in a little bit. However, I do think that Ono is a very, very close second. Um, before Ono started doing these um, drama roles, I didn't really have much of an opinion on his acting. You know, he was good at it, I, I didn't really have a problem with it, but I didn't see it enough or be able to see him in, you know, varying enough roles to actually um, have an opinion. He's always been a performer and a good one at that. I did like him in Mao. He did a great job um, in that, but after I saw him in Kaibutsu Kun, that's when my opinion of his acting really picked up. Um, you know, he was so good at Kaibutsu Kun. Um, and also, you know, he was good at Kenta in Utano no Nisan and also in Mao, like I said. But Kaibutsu Kun was such an odd role, you know, like something that would be really challenging for an actor. And he just absolutely engulfed everything about Kaibutsu Kun. Um, I feel like Ono could take on so many different kinds of roles and he would b be good at doing a lot of the challenging ones. But, uh, like I mentioned just a little bit ago, um, the reason I still say that Nino is a better actor than Ono is because Nino has such a, a wider range of ability to act. For example, as the original commenter has said, um, she was thinking it might be interesting to see Ono in a romantic role, but for me, in my opinion, I just, I cannot see that at all. I can't see him being the, the romantic lead um, in a show or a movie. I'm really not sure why. Nino, I can definitely see as a, a romantic lead. June, of course, I can definitely see as he's done many of those. But I feel like Nino is able to capture so much more from the characters that he plays. Um, for example, there was a little documentary, if you will, uh, on Nino uh, around the Letters from Iwo Jima time and they talked kind of about Nino and his opinions on uh, Jima Show and being in the Jima Show and being an idol, etc. It's actually really interesting. I recommend it for everyone to watch um, if you haven't. The only problem is I don't remember what it was called though. Um, if I remember though, I will put it in the sparkle box. But anyways, uh, it was also around that time when he was filming for a TV movie, made for TV movie special, where he played a man um, with a physical disorder who decided he wanted to run in a marathon. So they did follow him around on the set for that. Um, and basically he studied people uh, with that physical disorder, um, watched kind of how they run, and he only did it, he only watched them for, you know, like maybe a day or two at the most. And, you know, he watched their movements and immediately he was able to get, you know, their movements and, and the way that they run 
down, like, perfectly on the first try, practically. Nino becomes his character so well that when I watch movies or shows with Nino in them, I forget that it's Nino I'm watching most of the time. Um, door to door, even letters from Iwo Jima, he just like sucks you in to the world of these characters so well that you don't even recognize him as Nino almost. It's like he just like becomes the person that he is playing. And you know, like the weird thing is like if you watch stuff behind the scenes, he like before he gets in front of the camera, he's just Nino. Like you look at him and it's like, oh, well, that's Nino. Um, and he's also mentioned that he doesn't, um, I, I translated one of these articles a long time ago, but he mentioned that, like, he'll be his normal self, um, even like when he's on the set before they're filming. And then the moment that they say action, that's when he like switches into his character mode and he said that it's actually really hard for the co-actors because they get kind of confused and a little like taken taken back by the way that he acts um and he was kind of sorry about that but there's really nothing that he can do that's like the way that he does it anyways yeah so we were talking about Ono, and I got onto Nino. Sorry. To make a long story short, Ono is a really good actor. I really, really do think so. I loved him in Kaibutsukun, but like I said, I just, I cannot see him in a romantic role. There's some roles that I just feel like he would not match with, and with Nino, he kind of like would be able to, I feel like he would be able to mold himself into whatever he needed to be. As for what I'd like to see Ono in next, maybe it would be fun to see him in like a suspense show or a detective show maybe. For some reason like with the suspense I'm thinking like um, caught in the middle of uh, somewhere like alone and he has to survive like a survival suspense show. I think that would be really cool to see Ono in. Or like I said a detective show, kind of like Mao except I'd like to see him be the good guy. So anyways, that's it. Uh, let me know what you guys think about Ono's acting in the comments below or in a video response. Bye bee!